was like, no. No. Mm-mm. It didn't do it for me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jim African Beauty, back at you with another video. And today I will be talking to you about products that I'm leaving in 2021, okay? So, some of the products I will still be giving another chance, but in a different style. So, a lot of them are like gels and gels. If they don't work for me, I may use them on a twist out or... You know, if I'm doing just a fro, like if I'm doing a wash and fro as opposed to a wash and go, like I just want big hair with like minimal to no definition, I'll go for them. But most of them are just going to get the boot because I have plenty of products and I'm trying to declutter. And so that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get started. I probably won't have all of them for you because I'm again at my family's house. As you can tell by the different setup, I kind of just got to find, you know, a room in the house that. I can get some quietness and privacy and good lighting. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first product that I will be giving the boots is the My L Curl Sculpting Custard. Um, I used to like that one. I really did. It used to do great things for my hair. It gave me great definition. But it was only in certain time periods of the year. Like if it was a really humid time. I can't really do a wash and go with that one because my hair would just poof out. And that's probably because of the glycerin levels. I said glycerin levels. <laughs> How high glycerin is on the uh, ingredients list. So that one unfortunately will begin the boot because I still have plenty of, you know, curling custards and gels that work great in my hair. And I can do wash and goes with. So that one's just, it's just, it's gone. So that's the first one. Um, and that one is, it's pretty fair price. I believe it's like 10, maybe 8 or ten dollars for it so it was a fair price item um so i won't say that because it was fair price it had like cheap ingredients or something or low end that it was cheap um i still think the ingredients were good but it just didn't work great on my hair for what i was going for next product is the myel ginger gel a lot of myels <laughs> Um, the Mild Ginger Gel, uh, and I think I could even find an old picture for y'all, because I posted the wash and go video. It didn't work, like, I think even when I was doing the, uh, install and my hair was completely wet, it still just, it wasn't really defined in my curls, so I kind of already had a preconceived no notion that it wasn't gonna be defined when it was dry, and I was correct. It's also another fair price item. I can't remember off the top of my head, so I'll insert that's uh, yeah i just i won't repurchase it it's a done deal for that next product is the main choice biotin infused gel y'all i tried to love that one i really did it was such a great price and i think it was an earlier main choice styler that came out when they first came out and i like i said i really wanted to love it it was a great price you got like i think 12 Maybe even more fluid ounces, I'll insert it because I don't got that product either. And it's, how much was it? Like $10? It was cheap. Okay, it was it was less than a dollar per fluid ounce. That much I remember. But every time, no matter how I used it, it flaked on me. Like hardcore. And I was like, what in the ever-loving heck? Like, why does this keep happening? I tried it on a wash and go. It didn't really even define my curls in the wash and go. I tried it on a twist out, flaked. So I kind of steered clear of the main choice gels for a while, but I am going to try a different line of theirs, one of their gels, and see how that works for me. And that will kind of be like my last ditch effort for <laughs> the main choices gels. Because I typically, I like their um, hair milks and leave-ins much better than I like their creams. So that is the main choice. Next, we have the Camille Rose the Curl Maker, I think. That one, again, I tried it multiple times. It flaked on me every time, and it didn't even give me great definition. Um, and I was sad because I, it worked on so many different people. I was really hoping it would work for me. It did not work for me, and that product was expensive. It was $22 or 20, 22 26 I don't know, but it was a lot of money, and I was just like, <laughs> and you have the nerve not to work. <sighs> so that one is getting the boots um, high-end and did not work for me. And next product. This one I still may try again. It is the Camille Rose avocado and castor oil it's like what a creamy gel that one I actually do have is right here I tried it once and I feel like my hair rejected it so uh, I might try it on something else I was trying to refresh my hair and maybe next time I'll just try it as 
under like an L OC or LCO method. And we'll see what happens. This is a medium to high price item, so it all depends. I probably won't buy it again. I'll probably just try to use up this one and move on, cut my losses. Another product that I will be leaving in 2021 is the, it's from Eden Body Works, the Natural Deep Conditioner that has jojoba, oil, and manoi. So this one, y'all, I really wanted to like it because it was such a great price point. I really wanted to like it, but I don't. <laughs> I really don't. The whole purpose of me buying it was one, because it was a fair price. You get 16 fluid ounces, y'all, for like about $9. So that's less than a dollar of fluid ounce. Okay. It's like, what, 50 cents? Wonderful. So I got that for the fact that it was nice and cheap. But also because I was looking for a deep conditioner that had no protein that I can mix the Green Beauty Real Protein Treatment with. So that's really why I bought it. And when I tried to mix it, it didn't even want to really mix well with that. It like took forever for me to like whip it into shape for the lack of better words. And when I put it on my hair, it was just like, okay. So I wonder if I just have to try it again by itself because again, it was such... A fair price product and got so much product I really want to like it I really want to be like yeah this was a fair price product you get a lot of product and it works great on my hair but this was one where I was like no no mm -mm. it didn't do it for me so it may or may not be staying in my stash we'll see when I try it by itself I'll see if I can still save it but and, I, and not even just that it doesn't even smell good like it stank like I don't know if anybody else feel that way but Maybe I got a bad batch. I don't know, but it stunk. I was just like, this is the best y'all could do. So, <laughs> that's that's just that. So, the next product that I will be leaving in 2021 is the Diva Curl Build Up Buster. Now, the reason why I chucked this one is, one, is I heard that there were some issues with people's hair falling out from using their products. And after I heard that, I kind of just threw the whole bottle away. I'd rather be safe than sorry. But even if I didn't hear about all that, it was just an expensive product for something that I feel like I can get from the Kinky Curly Come Clean because it's it's obviously a clarifying shampoo I could get from the TGIN. So I'm not that big of a fan of the Build a Buster. Like it did a good job, but it's not something I would continue to purchase moving forward. The next product the TGIN Curl Bomb. Now that one, I tried it at, on a wash and go. Didn't work, didn't even define my curls. So I, I kind of just gave up on it. I was like, you know, I think I actually flat out returned it <laughs> because it was like 15, 16 bucks. So it's like a medium price product and it did absolutely nothing for my hair. My hair did not accept it at all. In fact, I think it rejected it. So that's getting left in 2021 as well. Ooh, this one might irritate y'all, but the Uncle Funky's daughter curly magic. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it in the past. I'm not keeping it. Nope. My little sister, it works lovely on her hair. One of my best friends, it works great on her hair. But my hair, again, I just I don't get the definition that they get and that other people that I've seen who use it that have tight coils like myself. And it's like I think $16 for that i think it comes with 12 ounces it's eight or 12 ounces i can't remember but again i'll insert a picture because i obviously don't have it anymore but that product it just doesn't work on my hair and i'm just tired i'm not i'm not about to go for it so that's skin left in 2021 and then the next one is the Atra beauty curl gel it's their gel i don't know what the actual name is but I tried that in the starter kit that I got from them. And when I tried to do a wash and go on it, I did it on both sides of my hair. And I'm so mad that I lost this footage because I would totally insert it for you guys. But essentially, the side that I put the leave-in, I think I put the leave-in on one side under the gel and the curl defined cream on the other side. And there was a little patch that I tried only the gel. And everywhere where I tried the gel, it was not defined. It wasn't holding i shouldn't say it wasn't defining the the hold was just not there and when you look at it it looks like a cream but it does have like a jelly like consistency so for the price point i think it's like over twenty dollars for the normal you know priced item and for it to not work well on my hair it's a high price item i'm not going for it anymore 
but there's other things in that line that I do like so happy about that but that gel is getting left in 2021 okay so now we can move into the products that I will be not repurchasing at the moment but I may try them in a different type of style to one get through them because these are ones that I haven't thrown away because I just don't want to give up on them yet <laughs> Trey Lux high definition styling gel that one as well as the curl mix I think it's the flaxseed gel yes it is those two high priced items um unless you get them on sale and they're both come with like eight eight or 12 fluid ounces but I think it's eight to be in so very very expensive products and every time I used it I got flakes like bad flakes and I think it's because when I would put it on I'm like okay I think I need more and maybe I was heavy-handed but I know with the curl mix when I put it on again I used less of the product and the definition wasn't as apparent but I didn't have flakes so for me, I have to use so much of the product to get the definition that I want. And the definition is mwah, for the curl mix. But then when I, when it dries, it's it's flaky, it's crunchy, which I don't mind the crunch. But when the crunch breaks, it turns into flakes. Ha, ah, that rhyme. When the crunch breaks, it turns into flakes. Hey. Oh. Anyways, so... I'm going to try a reverse wash and go with the curl mix and I'm also going to do that with the high definition. Because it's flaked on me in the past, I wonder if doing the reverse wash and go will cause it to not flake on me. And so those are the two products that I'm going to try to just, you know, work through. But at the moment, I'm not going to repurchase them. Yeah. The next product is the Dew Mousse. Most Mousse Death Mousse. So I tried that on wash and go. Y'all, I'll link that in the description below because I was, I was skeptical when I said it can define 4C hair with a mousse. Like, this didn't sound right in my opinion. But I tried it out and it didn't work. <laughs> like, at all. Um, I just did a little swatch test to see it on like my 4B section and my 4C section and it didn't, it didn't work. So, I think what I would do, um, I think I gave that product away, but if I did still have it, I would use it for like a flexi rod set or something where I'm setting my curls as opposed to trying to do a wash and go on it. That's, I feel like in that range, that's, you know, what mousses are usually used for when it comes to my hair texture, okay? That's what I would use it for. And next on the list, I think we're down to the last one, guys. The Design Essentials Coconut Manoi Jelly. Now that one I actually have, so so there it is. So this, I tried it on the wash and go. It didn't work. It did not define my curls when I put it on. And I wonder, because I know it has glycerin in here, I wonder if that's why it didn't define my curls. Because it was I was in a humid climate and... Yeah, I think, let's see real quick. Ingredients. Yeah, glycerin is the second ingredient. So I think that's why this product didn't work on my hair. Glycerin is just too high on the list. So I might try it on a twist out. But again, I'd just be doing that to get through this because this thing is, I don't like using gels on twist outs because I like it when my hair is nice and soft. So anyways, y'all, that is all the products. I know this video was probably very long. I tried to go as fast as I could. I really did. But those are all the products that I will be leaving in 2021 and or just getting through or giving away if I can get through them quick enough. And I hope it was helpful to y'all. Let me know in the comments if any of these products do work for you <laughs> or if they don't work for you as well. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell button so you'll never miss another upload from me. And y'all have a blessed week.